Broadcasting from Studio A, this is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcasts. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever it is that you're listening to, good whatever it is. Today I am coming to you out of Studio A. As I said before, I usually like having a lot of statistics about stuff. Um, I don't want to, but I think it'll sidetrack me a little bit more, um, even though I could add statistics to this. But what I'm talking about today is love. L-O-V-E. I believe I had a podcast in the past about this, or at least spoken about it plenty of times before. But uh, I, I usually write down what I'm going to focus on, my subject for the for the podcast. But I, I've been thinking about it for a long time, actually. And the thing is, so many things that we misconstrue, and love is definitely probably the biggest thing that we twist um, basically for our own agendas, for our own opinions, for our own comfort. Now, love basically is supposed to be unconditional, which it is. At the same time, up front, love has standards. Now, love is unconditional. You can have love without a limit, but love applies limitations. There's a difference. Love, real love, has no limits, but it applies and comes with limitations. That being said, there's so much things that we do because of the fact we want to be happy. And who doesn't want to be happy? It's a beautiful feeling. It's usually you're in a good place mentally, spiritually, physically, or is it? Many times we think this happiness is basically a substitute for what we really need. Uh, Constant search for happiness is one thing, and but constantly trying to do things or constantly doing things which you believe makes you happy is a total different animal altogether. There's so many things that we are up in arms with each other about regarding love because we feel that love is supposed to include everybody, which it does. It doesn't include everything that everyone does. Big difference. Hopefully, I do step on some toes. Hopefully, I'll allow people to think about things. I hope I use my words properly to come out properly. I I hope I have the proper tact, and I don't want to say the wrong things or miscommunicate what I mean to say. Now, we know what, what sin is. Sin basically is rebellion against life. Because there's certain things that we have to do really and truly to fulfill what we need in life, to live to our utmost, the most healthiest, yes, happiest, and for everyone and everything to do its thing, to fulfill its purpose. If we don't have those limitations in place and proper standards, things are not going to operate and function the way they were meant to or the way it's going to give the most optimal performance. I like using the analogy of the car or automobile vehicles. If you don't follow the manufacturer's guidelines, put the right oil in it, the proper uh, substance for fuel in it. If you don't, just run it down to the ground. If you do what you're supposed to do, the vehicle will last you a lifetime, really and truly. If you do what you want to do with it, run it down to the ground. Don't maintain it the way it's supposed to. Don't change the tires when you're supposed to. Don't put the right oil when you're supposed to in the vehicle. It's, it's not gonna. It's not going to last. Sure, you're gonna drive. You could be happy driving, but what are you doing? What are, What are the limitations that you're setting in place to have that vehicle operate to the best of its ability? The problem is now when we tie in our happiness to our own emotional, I could probably say needs or our own emotional voids. Because when people tend to do certain things over and over again, or keep pursuing certain things, it's because they're missing something. And whatever makes them feel good becomes their comfort thing, comfort food, comfort zone, whatever it is. 
so many things that we do are not conducive to what love is supposed to be. Now, we always hear about love, let everyone uh, do what they want. Just, you know, love is all we need. Just love, again, has terms and limitations. We're not going to allow a child to just eat Twinkies in the morning because you don't want to hurt the child's feelings. You know, Twinkies, the child enjoys Twinkies. My son loves Twinkies so much. You know, I just have to have him, you know, I, I can't bear to see him crying or throwing a tantrum. You know, I love him, so I want him to be happy. That You're not loving the child. That's really abuse. And it's not limited to the children. We, in our grown adult stages where we have experiences, we have a full resume, careers, we have hair under our arms, we have mortgages, we have car notes, we have everything that grown-ups supposedly do. We abuse ourselves in the name of love or seeking happiness. Love is not supposed to be judgmental. It's not, well, it's not supposed to be critical to the point where it's destructive. There's a time and place to do it, and not everyone is supposed to be doing it. Uh, people get that wrong and twist and said, you know, only God can judge me or don't judge. We're all supposed to judge, but properly. We're supposed to judge correctly. If we're going to have any kind of critical input towards someone, you have to do it from a place of love, from standards, knowing that I know you could be and should be doing much better than you are now. I want to guide you to that. I don't want to see you go down a path that's not going to be beneficial to you or anyone else around you. That's what love really is supposed to be. Now, pointing your finger at someone or looking down your nose at someone, you're supposed to do it in a place of love and understanding. Sympathy and empathy is where we're supposed to start. That comes from humility. Okay? There's times you're going to have to have those hard moments and conversations with people because people will say, who are you to judge? Well, truth be told, it's like someone like me, I need to be a certain level of judgmental because I have to live with the decisions of people who want to be happy for the sake of being happy, not because they love themselves, because you really love yourself. Like for me, for instance, I'm still a bit overweight, but I lost weight, got more muscle. I'm more active again in the gym. Just because... I love my, I say I love myself, don't mean I really love myself. Allowed myself to get to a point where I got the biggest I've been in life. Yeah, smaller than a lot of other people, but still my health was waning. Feel it in your joints more. You're not as active. You feel sluggish. You owe it to yourself to apply those limitations of what love's supposed to be. Eating properly now, more regulated, being active to show that you properly love, not to say it and just do what you want to your heart's content because, you know, I could love myself and eat a bunch of brownies and ice cream every day so I could be happy and feel better. That's not love. You have to apply those limitations so you could understand, so you could apply love properly to live in the most optimal and proper state of happiness in the long term. Not just do what you want. And again, I have to live with my own decisions of me being happy. I'm not only affecting myself, I'm affecting other people. Love is not just leaving people to do what they want to do. Granted, you have to give people their space so they can get their peace, peace of mind. That is priceless. You need to give people their space so they can be grounded at times, okay? So it's one thing to leave people to, to their own devices. It's one thing, another thing to leave people to the point where they need to actually self-reflect properly, to ground themselves, to catch themselves, to establish themselves. You need to allow people their, their pace. Your pace is not my pace. My pace is not someone else's pace. Some people may think I move too slow for them or I'm too far behind with certain stages of development. Some people feel I'm way too ahead of them. Everyone's going to be different, but you have to apply proper love. Love is patient, absolutely patient. And at the same time, you have to allow people to go through what they're going through. Whatever it is, I'm going to go down the list that people don't think is right, but everything that we do basically, most of the things we do basically is not real love by letting people do what they want to do. 
Because we talk, I talked about sinful things, but rebellion and what exactly life is supposed to be. But that doesn't mean you, do, you destroy and attack the person. But you have to have limitations. Okay. Things I'm going to talk about, of course, is um, drinking alcohol. We're not supposed to be drinking alcohol. I used to. Enjoyed it. Then I can't do it now. I know what it does to you. Smoking can't do that. You shouldn't be doing that. Speaking foul language shouldn't be doing that. Certain sexual orientations shouldn't be doing that. Many things that people do having a promiscuous lifestyle shouldn't be doing that. Having child's children out of wedlock shouldn't be doing that. Watching certain things, be it games, be it entertainment, movies, all that stuff, that promotes a negative lifestyle, cursing, promiscuity, violence, whatever it is, shouldn't be doing that. You know, I, I don't want to sound like, you know, a Bible thumping person, but it is what it is. Am I going to reject anyone who still has a stronghold in those things? No, I'm in the struggle too. A lot of things I was there and it came out of it. A lot of things I'm still looking to manage myself. I know what it is to not have proper direction. I know what it is to have basically people doing what they want because they just love to do it. It makes them happy. Happiness does not build a proper life. It doesn't have a foundation for proper order. When you just want to be happy, you're just doing things because you, you're in your feelings. You can't do things based on being in your feelings. You have to apply logic as well. Like I said before, who am I to be judgmental? I'm the guy who has to live with everyone else who just wants to be happy. There's some people who are happy robbing people. They don't want to work. I see this dude, oh, he got a nice coat. Come off of that coat, honey. And there's people who are happy just running around being promiscuous. You're breaking hearts out there. You're tying your spirit and your energies to people out there. You shouldn't be doing that. You're happy, but what are you doing to everyone else around you? Even when you keep to yourself with certain things. You owe it to everyone else to develop yourself, to be a presence. Everyone is responsible for building themselves up to a point of being a proper presence. If you, you can't control everyone. Love is not controlling. Love is patient. Only thing the most that you can do or supposed to do is control yourself. Build yourself to the point where you are a proper presence, where you can now hopefully influence people around you. So maybe if you want to steer people in the right direction or even influence people just by being you in the proper manner, the best you possible that the creator, the creator wants you to be, you can affect people just by being there in the, in the best version of yourself. That's love right there, you know? And at the same time, love doesn't have to be accepting to a point. It's accepting, but it has limitations of what to accept. So I can love someone, but I may have to do it from a distance. Yo, I love you, but I can't hang out with you that much anymore. Yo, I love you, man, but I, what you're doing, it's, it's not conducive to how I'm living and what's proper growth for you and myself. I can't be around that. I may love you as a child, but you know what? I'm going to have to put you out. I don't mean I don't love you. People will say, how can you love someone if you push them away? Love has standards. Point blank, period. You're not supposed, you could give, have some give and take with it, but you have to have a point where, nah, this is not growing you. This is not bettering yourself. This is not bettering a relationship. This, how are you doing certain things that is destructive, can be destructive, how is that being loving when you're allowing someone to do that? Again, a child with the Twinkies every day. You love your child. Are you really, do you really love your child? Do you really love yourself to say, let me go look for that dream job I was doing. Maybe, let, me, let me quit my job today and pursue what I really want to pursue. Let me move out of state. Let me go call my relative who I didn't call in a while. You know, instead of waiting for someone to call me or we had some kind of beef or whatever, you're not promised tomorrow. None of us are promised this next hour on this earth. It's a balance of living like today is your last day on earth 
and at the same time setting up for the best possible future tomorrow. People will say, yeah, you're going to die anyway, so just live how you want to live. How are you going to go out? How did you affect people? Did you affect people in the right way while you were here before you left us? Or did you leave something of substance to build on? So they, when they remember you, yeah, they're going to feel sorrow, but are they going to feel better that I'm glad this person was in my life to influence me to do this? If it wasn't for them, I would have never done this. If it wasn't for them, I would have never realized this about myself. Or I would have never been exposed to whatever it is in the world out there. People, every, we're all struggling. I'm struggling too. I don't look, I don't want to put anyone down in the struggle, whatever it is. And believe, all of us struggle. Every one of us struggle. The love is being accepting of it and understanding it, but allowing people to change. You allow people to change by hopefully molding them, allowing them their space to change. If they're not changing for the better, then you just have to just have a certain level of respect and distance from that and them, or having a level of engagement to guide them, not beat them down, because we all get beat down more than enough in this world. People who are supposed to be Christians, unfortunately, they're supposed to be exactly everything I'm saying right now, and they are not. I'm not saying all of them. Don't get me wrong. But people look at them as a representation of what Yeshua is supposed to be, and they are not. Very judgmental set of people. Not saying only church people. A whole lot of people who are not of church, who are secular, the people would say, are very judgmental as well. So they come in all forms, not just church people. But we have to exhibit proper love, not just let everyone just do what they want to do. That's chaos. Love is about order and following that order and allowing everyone to follow the guidelines. Our manufacturer the creator, our father, the Elohim, the guidelines he laid out for us. That's what it's about. People are struggling. We're going to be in a struggle. If you can help them be a better person, then help them be a better person. Don't stomp down on them. You have your struggles too. No one is better over anyone. Regardless of where you were born, how much money you have, what status you have, it doesn't matter. We're all the same inside in the end, we're all going to be in the same position. Do what matters now. Show love for yourself. Build yourself on that. And then you could build other people. Understand what it is. Love has limitations. At the same time, it has no limitations. If you get what I'm saying. If you have any kind of questions, if I confused you, I could totally understand. Hit me up on my email address at Corey at brooklynbaritone.com or feel free to leave a comment in any of the sections of probably most preferably my podcast section in, uh, on brooklynbaritone.com or check me out on YouTube, Brooklyn Baritone. You could also listen to my podcast on Google Play and the iTunes Store. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Anyways, that's all I have. Love you guys. Love, I love you guys. Seriously, love you. Even if I don't know you, we'll rock with you every day. It's okay. Anyways, be blessed, y'all. 